Welcome to everyone to the workshop on greedy algorithms, Frank Wolf and Trends. Uh, so the purpose of this workshop is to bring together uh, researchers from several communities, namely continuous optimization, combinatorial optimization, single processing, machine learning statistics, and harmonic analysis. So because greedy algorithms and Frank Wolf algorithms have been very popular in these communities with very successful recent applications such as recommended systems and uh, Im in image processing, image factorization, sparse regression, and matrix factorizations, and more to come. And so the common feature of all these algorithms is that they can all perform optimization of our atomic sets. So in a casual form, we can write this problem as a minimization of a function f of some argument x that lives in some sets that can be described as a convex or affine hull of some simple things that we call atoms. And then all this, this uh, representation can describe many kinds of sets, such as the set of sparse vectors, uh, the set of low rank matrices, or the set of matrices, permutation matrices. And then the general updates of Frank Wolf algorithms of Wheelie algorithm can be written in this way. So we make an update from the argument x of k, and then we add a small atom, and that gives the next iteration. And then the updates can be written as some uh, linear combination of the next atom and the previous iteration. So this general form can summarize both the Frank Wolf algorithm or the newly proposed composite Frank Wolf conditional algorithm but also matching pursuits, uh, four bar, forward, backwards, fast selection, and also the minimum norm point algorithm. So now I describe the general outline. So we start this morning with Rob Freud and then Ben Rest, and then the spotlights. And in the afternoon, we'll be delighted to welcome Marguerite Frank from the Frank Wolf algorithm as on our honorary guest. So she wrote with, together with Phil Wolf in 1956 this uh, landmark paper about the Frank Wolf algorithm. And we can see here this very prophetic sentence saying that extensions to more general nonlinear programs are suggested, and this is exactly what we're doing here. So we'll hold uh, an interview of Margaret Frank about the history of the birth of this algorithm and asking her questions about the uh, optimization community at that time and uh, her experience with this algorithm. This will be today at 3.30. And now I give the hand to Rob Freud.